Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions is the next entry in the Mario & Luigi RPG series. This game is a remake of the original Superstar Saga that released way back on the Game Boy Advance in 2003. But does this game improve upon its original counterpart, or does it just fall flat on its face? Let's find out in this review. And before this review starts, I would like to point out that there will only be footage of the first two worlds or so, so there shouldn't be any major spoilers here. I'll also be judging the game based on how good of a remake it is, rather than the actual game itself. So without further ado, let's get straight into this review. Let's discuss the visuals of this game first, and I have to say, they look incredibly nice. Everything is so lush and detailed. Small little details like touching trees which causes them to move really just adds to the overall experience of the game. The shadow effects are really nice, so when the shadows are cast over Mario, his model actually like darkens, and everything just has that nice pop. It just pops, it has some really nice contrast, looks way better than the original Game Boy Advance version, which is excellent. I was really surprised at how good these visuals were. This is definitely the best looking Mario and Luigi game yet. One disappointing thing that I was sad to see missing from this game was the stereoscopic 3D from the 3DS. For some reason, they decided to remove it for this game, even though the previous games, Paper Jam and Dream Team, had this function enabled. Now, I'm not sure if it's because they really wanted to bump up the visuals for this game, so they had to sacrifice the 3D, but it's still disappointing nonetheless, especially since the battles could have been so cool if you could see them in stereoscopic 3D. But that's just a minor oversight, as it really doesn't affect the overall experience of the game. Let's talk about one of my favourite parts of this game out of everything I've played from it so far, and that is the music. The music on this game is absolutely excellent. It's all remastered tracks from the original Game Boy release, and Yoko Shimomura has done an excellent job updating these tracks for the modern audience. Tracks such as the regular battle theme, Kakleta's battle music, the Bean Bean Kingdom music, it all sounds absolutely excellent, and I've definitely downloaded some of these tracks just so I could listen to them outside of the game itself. The soundtrack is absolutely top notch, and in my opinion, one of the best parts of this entire game. So I was really surprised at how well these tracks were composed. Kudos to you, Ryoko Shimomura, you've done a fantastic job on the soundtrack. There's even some brand new music thanks to the Bowser's Minion mode in this game, and the new music also sounds really excellent. It sort of follows on from the music that was in Paper Jam, and that music was excellent as well. So if you're a fan of the Paper Jam soundtrack, especially the battle music in that game, you'll be extremely pleased with the soundtrack for the Bowser's Minion side story of this game. Let's talk about the gameplay for this game, and it is the same solid gameplay from the previous Mario & Luigi games. You've got the fantastic battle system, where you can use your jump, your hammers, your bros attacks, all of that cool stuff still intact in this game, plays just as well as you remember it playing. The battles are really interactive, really fun, you can avoid the enemy attacks, and then obviously attack them with really timed button presses. It's really satisfying to play through, and even outside of the battles it plays really well. You can jump as Mario and Luigi, and also unlock brand new abilities for them, such as higher jumps, the spin jump, having the fire and lightning abilities. It's all really great, really solid stuff. They didn't screw up the gameplay, it all plays just as you remembered it, which is excellent to see. There's also been so many quality of life improvements to this game, such as the touchscreen being able to be used to switch moves outside of battles. So you can switch from the jump to the spin jump to the fire to the lightning abilities on the fly thanks to the touchscreen. You can also save at any point, and there's also a mini map on the bottom screen, which really does make the game more accessible to the newer players. It definitely helped me out a bit when I was getting a bit lost because it tells you where your exits are so it made it way easier to see where you needed to go. There's also arrows on the bottom screen on the minimap to let you know exactly what point you need to be at. So, if you don't like the game being that linear, you can just switch off the minimap and you'll be all good. That's what I did for the most part, and it improved the overall experience for me. There's also a brand new mode to this game, known as Bowser's Minions. In this mode, you take control of Bowser's Minions, and you fight against the other minions, these other enemies, from the Bean Bean Kingdom. So you'll take control of enemies like Goombas, 
Koopas, Paratroopers, all of these different kinds of enemies, as you try and find Bowser, as that is the story for this game. And something that is very cool about this mode is that you get extra pieces of story details that you never got in the original Superstar Saga. An example of this is when Fawful takes over the Bean Bean Castle. You don't get to see that in action, but in this Bowser's minion mode, you get to see exactly how he did it. So that's really cool to see. The overall story of this mode is to take down the Koopalings and then find Bowser and rescue Bowser. The main gameplay of this mode is the battles themselves. So in the actual battles, you manage your team. You've got like a formation of teams. You've got your Goombas, your Shy Guys, all of these different enemies that you can switch and change before each battle. And it's sort of like a rock, paper, scissors mechanic. So some enemies will be weaker to the others. So ground enemies will be weak to the flying type enemies, but the flying enemies will be weak against the range enemies. So the real key of this mode is to see what enemies you're going to fight, change your team to suit that fight, and then go in and hope for the best. It's a really fun mode, not as fun as the main game itself, but as a side mode, it's really fun. And there is one complaint I have with this mode, and that's the fact that it takes a while to start up. When you first start playing this mode, there are a lot of tutorials. Now the mode isn't too complicated, so the fact that they had to stuff it with tutorials over and over for like the first world was really jarring and it didn't make it very fun to begin with, but trust me, once you get past the tutorials, this mode is very fun and it's a very nice addition to the overall game. The extra story details just add to this mode as well. And that is everything I have to say on Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. Overall, it was a fantastic experience for me and definitely one of the best Mario RPGs we've had in a long while. I'm willing to say the last one that was good as this was Bowser's Inside Story that released in 2009. So I hope you all enjoy this review guys. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this. I make Nintendo videos, Sonic videos and a lot more so make sure to stick around if you want more of that. Make sure to follow me on Twitter as I'm very active on there. Let me know if you're going to pick up this game in the comments below. I highly recommend it. But anyways guys, Thank you for watching, and I'll definitely make sure to catch you all later.